The overall goal of this procedure is to determine the structure and organization of mitochondrial proteins in situ. This is accomplished by first generating a frozen hydrated electron microscope grid containing the sample. Next, a dose-limited tilt series of the sample is recorded in an electron cryo microscope. Then the tilt series is processed to generate a tomographic volume. Finally, the protein densities are averaged to determine the structure of the proteins and the membranes are segmented to reveal their 3D structure. By repositioning the averages of proteins back into the tomograms, the structure and organization of proteins in the membrane is revealed. So we do electron cryotomography of mitochondria because we want to understand how they work at the molecular level. The main advantage of this technique over other methods such as electron microscopy of thin plastic sections is that the resolution is higher, the material is not chemically fixed in any way, and the molecular detail of the proteins are preserved. The technique of electron cryotomography can take some time to master, but experienced users can acquire five to six good quality tomograms per session. The most difficult part of the procedure is to produce frozen hydrated grids of optimal ice thickness. After isolating and pelleting mitochondria according to the text protocol, use 250 millimolar triolose in 10 millimolar HEPA's buffer to resuspend the pellet to a concentration of approximately 5 milligrams per milliliter of total protein. Low discharge, holy carbon EM grids, carbon